I'm Greg Grugan in Houston. I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. And I'm Rudy Kosky in Austin, and this is Texas The Issue Is. The divisive and seemingly intractable challenge of border security and immigration reform have lingered unsolved in our nation for decades. Enter Texas Senator John Cornyn, who's making a long shot attempt to stake out sensible middle ground, while also speaking out firmly on Chinese aggression, the war in Ukraine, and the debt ceiling. Most people will not allow... In the nation's capital, the Lone Star State senior senator has shouldered what many call the Herculean challenge of forming limited bipartisan consensus as a means of easing the border crisis plaguing not just Texas, but the entire country. Well, I think that's why I'm, why I got elected, to uh, take on tough tasks and to see if we can find some common ground. The sad fact is, Greg, though, that uh, given the president's open border policies and what's been happening at the border, uh, it's made it much harder for us to find that common ground. But I think it all starts with border security. I visited with some of our Texas uh, congressmen and asked them, please send us a border security bill as soon as you can. And then we can begin to look here in the Senate for building a a bipartisan consensus to get us to 60 votes is a practical matter. That's the only way we can get anything through the Senate and then and then uh, hopefully to the president. But uh, I agree it's a it's a uphill task and uh, but it all starts with border security. The border is more complex than I think many people acknowledge because you have a certain number of people who are coming to the border, economic migrants and the like. You have some people who are claiming asylum, and really it's our asylum system along with the catch and release policies of the administration that continue to encourage more and more people to come, even though those who eventually appear in front of an immigration judge, only about 10% of them qualify. The problem is many of the rest just sort of melt into the great American landscape. But I think if we could start by fixing the broken asylum system, uh, that would be a good start. Cornyn insists the price of continued congressional inaction and stalemate will be painful and human. We've seen uh, the drugs that have taken the lives of 108,000 Americans uh, coming across that border. And so I suspect many of those so-called gotaways are drug mules uh, running drugs into the interior of the United States. As for the looming battle over the debt ceiling, Cornyn says the $31 trillion in red ink already weighing down our government's books should trigger a nationwide call for fiscal restraint. As a result of COVID, we saw a huge increase in federal spending on a bipartisan basis. Of course, this was a, an emergency, a public health and an economic emergency, and we responded accordingly. But in the last two years, the administration and Democrats in the Senate and the House has spent almost another $3 trillion. The position that the president is taking that he won't negotiate is simply unsustainable, and it's irresponsible. On the issue of aid for Ukraine, Cornyn fully supports provision of advanced American weaponry, including the M1 Abrams battle tank. We need to continue to help them because Mr. Putin is not going to stop uh, if there was a pause in the fighting or if there was a temporary peace, then he would use that to reset and replenish his munitions and weapons and then continue his march across uh, Europe. And when it comes to the economic and geopolitical threat posed by China, Cornyn is calling on the nation to escalate preemptive measures as a security imperative. We need to win the next war by preventing the next war. And the only way we do that is by deterrence and by strength, as Ronald Reagan said, peace through strength. And frankly, we're not ready. Okay, guys, my one word description is measured. Stephen, what's your word? My one word is compromise. All right, Kosky, lay it on me. All right, uh, Greg, you, know, you have said the senator is facing a Herculean challenge. Well, my word then is Odysseus. 